Bonjour, Year 5. Our topic for today's lesson is Les Vacances, Part 7. Use your headphones for best experience. Our learning objective for today is, can I express someone's holidays and their activities? Success criteria, grow. I can recognize and memorize Cree French vocabulary. Flourish, I can compose sentences on someone's holidays. Succeed, I can adapt and build on someone's holidays and activities. Pour commencer, let's do a bit of recap. Je vais à Dubai, which means I'm going to Dubai. And remember, the rule is when it's a city's name, Dubai, then you write A right in front of it. Il va en France, which means he goes to France. And on is just because it's a fe France is a feminine word, so you have on right in front of it. Elle va au Portugal. Portugal is masculine word, and hence you have AU right in front of it. Kevin va aux États-Unis. Kevin goes to United States. United States being plural, we have AUX in front of it. Helen va en Angleterre. Helen goes to England. Now, over here, you're going to guess why I have written on right in front of Angleterre. Yeah, you're right. It's because Angleterre is a feminine word and that's why we have on right in front of it. Please remember this rule. Je vais is I go or I'm going. Il va is he goes or he is going. Elle va is she goes or she is going. Let's do a bit of recap because this would be really helpful for you to complete your task. Au bord de la mer, at the seaside, à la montagne, in the mountains, à la campagne, in the countryside, en ville, in town or in a city, à l'étranger, abroad. There is a small activity that you would be doing right now. All right. Number one, Amandine va. And then there is a picture of a boat. And then if you see where this green line leads you, it leads you to this country's flag. So now what you would do is, you would start your sentence with Amandine va, Amandine goes, and then you will write where she goes. We just did a recap of places, names of places. So you will write that. And then you would write the country's name. All right. So you would write Amandine va, and then you will continue on this green line with this place. And then we continue again on this green line itself to write the name of the country. I hope you understood. You would do the rest of the sentences just like the example that I gave you right now. Right now, you will pause the video to complete your work. You may do it in your whiteboard or on a piece of paper. Now, let's self-assess. Over here, you have the answers. Amandine va au bord de la mer en Espagne. Benoit va à la campagne en Angleterre. Luc va à la montagne en France. Marine va à l'étranger. Julie va en ville aux États-Unis. Mark yourself out of nine. And we have come to our last task for today. Our today's task is a reading task. We have three different paragraphs over here. You will read these paragraphs, understand what it means, 
and you will answer to these 10 questions over here. These 10 questions are vrai ou faux, true or false questions. So you would read the sentence and you would answer either vrai or faux. If it's false, faux. If it's true, you would write vrai. The first paragraph is by an. The second one is by Aurore, and the third one is by Ma. I hope you understood how to complete this task. This task will take at least 15 minutes for you to complete. Pause it right over here to complete your task. I'm waiting for you to pause it. Here you go, year five. You have all the answers for Vreyu 4 and mark yourself out of 10. Très bien, if you've got 7, 8, 9 or 10. And bien, if you've got 4, 5 or 6. And assez bien, if you've got 1, 2 or 3. Assez bien is grow level, bien is flourish level and très bien is succeed level. Hope you enjoyed today's lesson and learned as much as possible. Au revoir. And remember to post your task on Teams.